All right, so we're ready to unbox our new wash machine. The first one that we first bought four years ago, a Panda, we loved it. And then what happened to it? Um, well, the pump started to go out on it. And then uh, I didn't realize it needed to be up a little higher. So, you know, water get, got in the motors eventually and came and see the packaging. Ooh. It's just nice to have a wash machine at home. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We got two dryers. So this will be our third one. Yeah, right. We got have two dryers. So yeah. apartment size panda dryers, and we love them. They work it's really the well. Same thing. Green, do, 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 do. There we go. Yep. The little plastic stuff on it there. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Very same. And this is for um, when you put your clothes in here and you press this down and it goes underneath this lip right here mm. and um, that helps keep your things from flying out as it spins at high speed. And this one is nice and flexible. Look at that. Flexible. Mm. So these things are very short and for tall people like us it's difficult so we may get some little leggies again. Uh, my kid will work and didn't have time to do this today but I wanted to show you what the legs that go on the wash machine look like and it's just PVC pipe that's been chopped up into four segments about uh, let's see, they are an 8 inch long segment and they are 4 inches wide and they just pop right up over the the legs of the wash machine and get attached with a couple of uh, self tapping screws or self drilling screws and then that holds everything up and out of the water and it also just makes it easier for me to reach so that'd be cool So we're going to fill our water bladder today. It's a 30 gallon, although it doesn't look like 30 gallons could go in this little thing. It's got its top valve here for filling. And then it's got this bottom valve here for emptying. And that's really going to come in handy because we need more water. Go to our water hose hooked up to the top and the small plug that comes with it is not attached at all so what I'm going to do is epoxy a zip tie to the top of it and zip tie that right around here so that the plug stays where it's supposed to be so we don't lose this little valuable part right here <laughs> so we'll scoot that in the back and uh, so I have it nice and centered in our truck so the back of our truck isn't sagging too much. And we're going to go first and just fill it with uh, three to five gallons of water and some bleach. And then we let it sit, kind of slosh it around some and, and let it sit for an hour. Right. It came with this. What is it? It's a little valve. Little oh, ball yeah, valve huh? thing. Okay. There she goes, taking her homemade clothes over to the free zone of the free table. Lots of stuff. Busy little place around here to dig in this. Wow, we have a little traffic jam there. Okay. Just like we did in my 
next girl just to pour in there and get a girl. <clears throat> See Mike's welded homemade steaks are working out great. All right, so we're setting up to use our little pump because we've got these three bottles of water sitting here and <clears throat> so it's a it's a Wayne uh, and Mike says the Wayne is a good brand. Alright. Oh, cool. Alright. Here we go. So there's no on off switch, you just plug it in, huh? So that's going down pretty darn fast. It pumps 5.6 gallons a minute. So I'm going to have to kind of cajole it here so that when we get to the bottom, it's sucked up as much as possible. Alright. Gosh, that's going fast. 5.6 gallons a minute, so that's not going to take very long to... It take a minute to pump one of these. One minute. That's way faster than just actually dumping it in as fast as we can. Yeah. It's saying his back is much happier now. Hoisting these these things and trying to put him in way up here. He's had to stand on my um, my transfermer benches. Transfermer. They they make great benches for a lot of stuff. Though I haven't used the, them for transferring for years. I still have the discs though. I think I, I always think I'm going to start doing that again. So we'll see. With the matcha tea I've been drinking, I feel much more energetic. <laughs> so there we go. Matcha. I am absolutely in love with the matcha and I'll do a video on that pretty soon. This is just awesome. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> That's a happy man right there. <laughs> That's a happy man. And uh, we'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description box for the pump and the uh, bladder. Oh, I hate that word, the bladder. I'm just going to call it the aqua tank because that's the name of it. <laughs> the water bladder. Oh. <laughs> I hope my water bladder doesn't leak. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to call it the aqua tank. Okay, so the aqua tank and the pump uh, and the washer um, and these bottles here too, they, they really come in handy. Got this at K and B. Twenty-five foot hose, and it was twenty dollars. Yeah, and really heavy duty too. Really nice and thick. A little bit uh, better quality than the white drinking hoses, and this is drinking quality. 